NA is legit dying. Wow. 250,000 subscribers. Two, that's like, yeah, that's a quarter million. That's crazy. Holy, holy shit. Sh 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 <laughs> you know, I've been doing this for quite a while. I've had some ups and downs, changing of games. And uh, yeah, I feel like we found the flow here. And shouts out to the second channel, the League of Legends Challenger Coaching Channel, which is also growing at a really, really high rate. <laughs> <laughs> high rate yes talking to your camera in a little tiny room all the time makes you look like a crazy person and that's what i am yeah i'm a little, I'm a little loopy a little, little looney tunes over here so <clears throat> i thought how could i make this special i've got this boot camp coming up on the 17th and a lot of you guys are signing up a lot of you guys really want to hit your rank goals next year uh judging by how many people are signing up it's pretty nuts um so i figured because why not uh, it's Christmas and you know, um, honestly, it's just, it just seemed like a cool thing to do. If you've signed up for the boot camp, and if you sign up before the 17th, you're going to get not only the boot camp, you're also going to get for this month, free access to our coach pass, which for those who don't know, I have been paying coaches personally out of pocket for about four months to coach people on discord.gg slash bootcamp daily. That's right. And you guys that have bought the bootcamp, you can now go to discord.gg slash bootcamp and you can go in there and you can start getting coached for free for the month. That's right. That is just something that we did. So if you're uh, sitting there right now and you're like, oh crap, I didn't sign up for the bootcamp, go to discord.gg slash bootcamp and sign up. You have my word right now. You have my word. You have my niece guarantee that that will not be a reoccurring thing. The only reason it says reoccurring on the thing on the Discord sign up is because it's a new service that we, us, the bootcamp, have like we've gotten access to, and like no other service in the world have gotten access to. It's insane how well this community is doing. Um, and again, as a reminder, uh, this content that we're putting out for the bootcamp, this week long event, is going to help you hit your rank goals. And all the content, the premium content that teaches you all the concepts that you need to know in all of the roles to climb and gives you exclusive strategies for the next season, that content you get to keep. It's like buying a more elaborate guide. Our last bootcamp had about 100 videos that these people that bought the last bootcamp got to keep. That is how committed I am to this product. And the last thing I'll say, if you buy the bootcamp and you don't like it, you can ask for a refund. Straight up, if you don't, if you buy it and you think that our bootcamp service is not worth the money, ask for a refund. You have, you have my word. Um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, I, I see you guys have been enjoying the videos, so we're just going to get into another one. And then I look forward to seeing you guys on the bootcamp. Uh, do it quick because if you don't sign up, you will miss it and you will miss the coach pass and you'll miss the content. And holy crap, why would you do that? Because I'm probably not going to be doing another bootcamp for a while. This is going to be the last one I do for a little while. So get it while it's hot. All right, I gotta go. Enjoy the video. Peace. Oh, can I just rant here? Can I just, I, I just need to rant for a second. This is a, this is a silver one account. I want to play real games. Okay. I want to play real games. I have been thinking about this for a while. So when I played on EU West and did my little jungle climb to diamond or whatever, yes, it was very frustrating playing on 110 ping. Yes, it's frustrating. But at least when I press to Q for a game, I get a game. NA is fucking, is legit. Diamond and up is legit fucking dying, dude. It's, and I don't mean this, I don't mean this in like, in a, I'm not trying to be alarmist. I'm not trying to do, I am legitimately, I'm just trying to say my piece. NA, diamond and up is fucking dying. Because there's no reason to play this shit. There's no reason to play it. Okay? You can't, there is no incentive. I'm going to say this loud and clear. So everybody can hear me. There's no incentive to play solo queue NA unless you are an, an inspiring content creator. Okay? I need to say this right now so everybody hears it. 
because I, as a person that is passionate about this game, wants it to stay around for a while. Obviously, my job revolves around coaching people in it. I believe that someone needs to come out and say it, that there is no incentive to play this game unless you are an aspiring content creator. Okay? I'm going to tell you why right now. The reason why there's no incentive to play is because once you hit diamond, it is a, I've got multiple points here. I don't even need to write stuff down because I'm so interlocked. I am so interlocked with, uh, just the scene, my coaching, I've coached aspiring pros. I've coached people in lower ELOs. I've coached people that want to make it to be, you know, high ELO so that they can maybe do content creation. I've coached college teams. I have coached all sorts of things that you don't even know about that aren't even on stream. So I just want to say in the interest of the game and of my personal investment as, as you know, this is basically my career, there's no incentive. Now, why do I keep saying that there's no incentive outside of being a content creator or streamer? Well, I'll tell you. The population, the, the active player base for NA, for ranked, is shrinking. Riot's not going to release the data, but I think the, I think the fact that if you queue, the queues are longer, getting longer and longer and longer every single month. It feels like they go up, even after the release of Arcane. People, do, if they want to play League, they don't want to play Ranked. Let me put that out there. If they want to play League, they don't really want to play Ranked that much. Okay? At least when you're talking about Diamond and Up on NA. People don't want to do it. Now, there's a plethora of reasons. One, let's face it, League of Legends and NA, comparison to shooters, comparison to where the industry's at in North America... People aren't really caring that much about League of Legends anymore. People don't really care that much about LCS as much as they do in other, you know, the other uh, regions. LCK, uh, LEC, LPL, stuff like that. People really don't care. So you're thinking to yourself, ah, I love League of Legends. I want to be, a, you know, maybe I want to be a pro player. Good freaking luck being a pro player. I had uh, Five Fire on my uh, Summoner Speak, which, you know, Summoner Speak... I could bring it back someday or not. doesn't matter. The point of bringing that up is that Five Fire told his story. He was a player that won, that won a ton in the amateur scene, regarded by many of the top streamers and players as, 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 a, as a solid pickup for mid. He has not even been giving it, given a chance. He's been pushing really hard. He's squeaky clean branding-wise, image-wise. He's a really nice guy. He's super talented. Hasn't been given a chance. Uh, there's another guy who is just on my Twitter. I forget his name. I gotta find him. 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 Uh, value. That's the name. Sorry. Value247. He went off and boot camped in other regions to get better at the game. Regarded as a really, really good ADC. Also... Not given a chance in the scene. Both of these players have tweeted recently that they're thinking about backing down from, from becoming pro players. And they are some of the best players on the NA server right now. So, there's not really much of an incentive to play the game to be a pro player. There's not much of an incentive to make high elo. Because if you get to high elo, what happens? Well, your queue times go up. There's lots of win trading happening. And there's really, you don't really gain anything. Like, we could sit here and, you know, the last time we've gotten something, where the hell is it? I will, like, this, this is like the thing, this is what I got. This is, this, for finishing Challenger, this is what I got. Okay? All, all the rewards that I have reaped from playing League of Legends, all the rewards that I have gotten from playing this game have come from my marketing, branding, uh, tenacity, and coaching, and uh, donations from the community. Um, I'm trying to think if Riot has given me anything for being good at their game, ever, other than this backpack. This backpack, if this was just a random backpack that you got at Walmart, this backpack would be worth probably... $30, $29.99, I suspect. 
Yeah, that's it. That's the reward I've gotten. Okay, and and I will I will say this. I am not somebody that has uh, strived to make the top of the ladder and finish at the top of the ladder every single year because from what I'm saying, this is the type of shit you get. You get a little recall animation or some shit, right? Okay? Now, I'm saying this because I, I just want this to be saved and uh, what, what's the word that I'm looking for? Uh, distributed about the space. NA scene for League of Legends is just, I mean, we could already argue that like NA has always been kind of a garbage scene. Any team that's wanting a shot at Worlds or wanting to make a deep run basically just buys people from other regions to come here and get a paycheck. All the money that I've received for this game has been through my hard work and I have received nothing for being good at this game. From Riot. I've received nothing. I've never received anything of value. To contrast, you may be thinking, well, why do they have to why, why do they have to do that? Well, I'll tell you why. Because this game is the absolute mentally most difficult and draining game to play in the industry. I believe, and you can call me a fuck it, you could say that I'm entitled. You could say whatever you want about me. But hear me out on this, okay? Anybody that has played this game at diamond or higher knows this is bar none the hardest game to deal with mentally and emotionally. I'm going to say it again so that you hear it. This is the hardest game mentally and emotionally to play anywhere. The absolute highest of the highs and the lowest of the lows, okay? You play Fortnite at a high level, you play Counter-Strike at a high level, you play any game at a high level, do you come and play this game at a high level? You know exactly what I'm talking about. No game makes you feel as good or as shitty as League of Legends does. It's just a fact. It's just a fact. Anybody, even casual players can understand this point. It's just a fact, right? Players that put themselves through this game and getting good at it and getting to the top level, do you know what they get? They get a big middle finger from Riot Games. They get so many middle fingers. First, you get queue times, which by and large, I think that's a community problem in a way, but it is it, it, it is a problem, right? In the sense that players can mostly only play like one or two roles, one or two champs max. So as a result of being, it's very difficult to get good at this game, you get really, really high queues. That's problem one. Problem two is that you don't get anything for actually getting good at the game and dealing with those cues. You even get another middle finger. Aside from not getting any incentives, you get a thing called Smurf Q, right? God forbid if you play on a low B account and you try to Q, you would spend 15 minutes. They basically put a 15 minute Q time buffer on your account. They don't say it to you. But that's really what they programmed in. I would actually be willing to bet, based on my experiences, when I just happen to log into an account I haven't played on in years, I coach most of the time. I don't have high MMR accounts. I don't have time. I barely have time to make it to Diamond, right? I used to be able to play 800, 900 games a season like most Challenger players, maybe more, right? Now I can't. So when I log into account, it's almost like they've put a lock on my account that says this player, because he has not played on this account, he must wait 15 minutes to play in this account. What if you just want to learn a new role? What if you just haven't played in years? Like, why is Smurf Q a thing? So now you've got three middle fingers, okay? If you don't, if you sit in the queue for a long period of time, you might get a game, right? But the game is going to be really freaking mentally and emotionally hard, right? It's going to be a really tough game because you're only supposed to win 51% of the time, maybe, if you're good. So you're going to be sitting in that queue forever, and you're just going to get dumped on, right, most of the time. You're going to get crapped on, okay? And guess what? While you're waiting in the queue, when you finally get a match, oh, someone searched your account up and you lost three in a row. They're going to dodge you. So you're going to spend another 10 to 15 minutes because you lost three games in a row. You can't hide that information. Supposedly, you're going to be able to soon. But when? Who knows? Probably, maybe. They say they're going to do it, but who knows? But even still, that doesn't fix the problems of getting 
abused in chat all the time, people running it down, ruining games. Again, not getting anything back, getting this, the, getting this Smurf Q shit that doesn't even work. So, what winds up happening is you have this game that you've invested all this time in, and you've gotten good at, and people care about, right? Because why would people pay? Why would people pay to to get coached half the time, anyways? Because the LP to them matters a lot. People care about the ranking system. People, people really care about their rank. The rank holds value. So why is it then that right now there are so many things in place to punish somebody for actually finally achieving the rank? I just really, really want... I really, really want to be able to tell people that it's worth it to play Beyond Diamond, right? Right? I'm speaking, I'm speaking to my community, but I'm just also speaking and just into the abyss, right? As a coach, as somebody that has, that has coached a ton of people right now, I have said this before, and I feel like I'm saying it louder now because it's concerning. What is the incentive to playing higher than diamond right now? What is the incentive? Playing to diamond, I can kind of get it. Because it's it's a cool rank. It's a cool por it's a cool spot to be on the ladder. But then beyond that, it's instant. There is like thousands, a thousands, a thousand, tens of thousands of accounts that are sitting around low diamond that people haven't logged into forever. And guess what? When you queue into a game, they get plopped into your game even if they haven't played in years. You know how I know? Because I just had that happen last night. I logged on an account that I haven't touched until in, since season nine. I was immediately dropped in. It wasn't diamond. It was like a mid platinum lobby. It was a mid platinum lobby with people that had been playing 1600 games this year. I had to wait 15 minutes because of Smurf Q to get put into a lobby. It dodged at the end. So it took me about 20, 25 minutes to get into a game in platinum. And then I get dumped in. What if I had just taken a few years off? So, basically, what I'm trying to say is I'm just trying to express the frustration. I wish Smurf Q wasn't a thing. I wish that there was a reason to play the ladder other than to just hit diamond and stop caring. I wish that people actually got demoted and that the ladder was hard reset for once in the last 10 years. The ladder has not been reset in 10 years. You can hop on an account that has been around since season six. That's a high ELO account. And you could hop in and you could straight just be thrown into like a high skill game. The game's changed dramatically. The game changes every year. I don't know why I'm saying this. I think it just goes to the abyss because anybody that hears this is like, anybody that's low ELO goes, boo hoo, this player's good at the game, boo hoo, it's so sad. But remember, isn't your goal when you play this game, somebody who's low elo, hear me out. Isn't your goal, you look at the pro scene or you look at the players at the top, the streamers that you like, isn't the goal to say, hmm, I want to get good at those uh, as those people. It's going to be so awesome being good. Right now, it's not awesome. It's awesome if you're someone like me. And that's great. I like my life. But what I'm saying is what about the longevity of the game, which is what I care about. I want to encourage people to get good at the game. I want to encourage people. Hey, man, guess what? If you go beyond diamond, dude, it's the shit. The games are better. Uh, you know, the there's there's rewards. There's things you could do. There's paths to pro. Like, there's all this cool shit that you could do. There's opportunities abound if you get really good at this game. Right now, the only opportunities requires you to have an entrepreneurial spirit. That's true. If you wanted to be... If you wanted to be... Uh, you know, if you wanted to make money on this game, get good enough to where you are undeniably talented at the game, right? And either boost people or coach or stream. That's it. There's nothing. There's no, there's no pipeline through Riot. That pro scene shit that they show NA, all these different esports orgs, right? Oh, look at these pros. These pros, they push out anybody that's local on NA. They push out local talent. They don't give them a chance. 
They hire people from other parts of the globe, and then they try to sell to you that being a pro is the shit. It's the shit if you're already there. But there's no pipeline to getting there. They're just lying. So, yeah. That's my... That's my niece rant for today. That's my niece tangent.